How you doing YouTube? Thought I'd give you a little close up on some of the parts that I got for the Power Pup. Um, one of the th items I had indicated in the prior video was the air filter adapter for a GT14 wheel horse. That's what I have here. What I'm going to need to do in order to get this to really work is the Magnum carburetor is obviously smaller than the 14 horsepower K series. Uh, Kohler, so I'm going to make a small adapter about a quarter of an inch thick either out of aluminum or maybe steel in order to bolt that adapter to the carburetor and ultimately the air filter neck here on. Um, I am going to use this is from a GT14 wheel horse. I'm going to use the back plate from a GT14. That gives me a little bit more push of the air filter out. I am going to use the Magnum cover though, and the reason for that is I want to have an open element air cleaner outside of the hood. This will get painted probably black or maybe I'll have it coated silver. But in any event, that's how that's going to look, and that's how that's going to work. Um, the hood is going to snake right between the two pieces here. Uh, that's how it is on the GT14 and on some of the economy tractors. The, the Power Kings had them that way, so that'll look good. These here are some pieces of steel that I bent up into an angle and that's going to be the corners of the grill. It's going to come up, there will be another corner somewhere around here, come across on a corner. Ultimately I want the front end or the grill area to look like a Cub Original. I really like how the Cub Original um, looks without headlights um, with that mesh grill. So that's how that's going to basically look because I really like that. It kind of has like a 68 Charger look to it, 68, 69 Charger look. Um, the hood is gonna obviously come between these two pieces. It's gonna come along here. It's gonna terminate somewhere in this area. Um, excuse me. It's gonna be high enough that it covers all the essentials. Um, nice flat. Then we're gonna come over here to where the steering column um, support's going to be. I'm going to bolt it up right to where somebody had one at one time. So we'll have a nice piece right there. It'll come straight up. It'll come up to about the point of the original. This piece will come in, get screwed in there, and that's what's going to hold that in nice and solid. Now, from there, I'll come up a short distance and I'm going to angle it. Angle it somewhere maybe like, th like this direction. And the reason for that is I'm going to use a dash panel from a Wheel Horse 701. They reproduce them, they're fairly cheap, they're only like 19, 20 bucks, something like that. Where we're going to have the choke in and out um, lever or cable here. We'll have an amp gauge right in the center. We'll have the key start in this position. And then if, where there was a throttle push pull for the cable, that'll get covered up because we'll have the throttle down on the foot. So you have a foot throttle. Um, one of the things I'm going to do also is in this position right here, that's where the battery is going to go. Probably try to find a small motorcycle battery, something cheap um, that I can find. And then I'll run the cables up along the frame rail to the starter solenoid, which is right there. I may move the starter solenoid up to the dash panel because the clutch system is going to go right here, and this might be in the way. Um, obviously, this key switch, it's going to, this whole panel and the key switch itself is going to get removed. That will go up into the dash, the dash panel. Um, but that's how that's going to theoretically work. Um, when we come over here for an exhaust, I was going to go with the hood being, there we go, with the hood being somewhere right in this position to be even. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out, make a bend, a 90 degree bend, and I'm going to go straight down. And then right about here, I'll have a kick out. Um, instead of having a stack that kind of comes up, which I think is always ugly on these garden tractors, I, I really, really dislike those. I think we're going to just do the same thing, but we're going to go down one inch tube, maybe go to one and a quarter inch, and then a nice flared uh, tip going out the back or out towards the back. Um, the other, the other part. Let's take a look at this over here that I talked about, which is definitely going to be changed, is the seat height. It's way too high for me. I want to take that seat height here and bring it to about there. That way it's nice and even 
with the tops of the fenders. I am going to put a set of Panzer fenders on this, Panzer tractor fenders. Keep them real tight to the real tight to the tire so it looks real clean and, and nice. So they'll start about here and Panzer fenders come to about there. The other mod that I'm thinking about is taking off this bar um, and putting a wrap bar underneath the rear end. Therefore you really get to see the, the pumpkin and the diff cover. I think that really would look cool. As for a steering wheel, I'm thinking about a three spoke Something cool. I don't want it to look like a hot rod steering wheel, but I do want it to look kind of cool with a, with a uh, tractor feel. Obviously the front end is going to be stock. But that's how it's looking. As you can see, the engine plate, I just got it loosely affixed on there. The engine's just loosely affixed to that so nothing falls off. I'm um, going to start working on my clutch pulley system and how I'm going to lay that out. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much lined up pretty good. We should have no issue with that. There you go. There's the rear. Whoops. Kick those things. But there you go. That's my thought. If you guys have any suggestions, maybe something that you didn't like, something that you think I might want to think about and change, by all means, please send me a private message. I know the comments now on YouTube have become a disaster with this whole Google Plus crap. I wish people would just learn there's Facebook and then there's YouTube. YouTube does something special one way, Facebook does something special the other way. We didn't ask for them to be combined, so to speak. But do your best in getting me a message. Send me an email, whatever you like. Thank you very much. Comment, talk to you soon. Bye.